Hey yo, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Leo, this is going to be your uh, general focus reading for the week of May 2nd through May 8th, 2016. Uh, before I begin your reading, uh, Leo, I do want to express that I have changed up uh, just for this week only. I just want to see how um, the readings come across and doing something completely new. And for the other signs that I've already read for... Um, I'm letting you know that I'm using two decks, one deck that just has uh, 22 major arcanas, and I'm drawing from that to see what the potential energy is for you for the upcoming week. And then also I'm using um, miners from another deck just to complement uh, the reading overall. All right, so let's see how it goes. All right, for some Leos that I'm reading for, for this upcoming week, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the lovers. Of course, this is a major arcana, so it's in the upright position. So actually, this is good energy for some Leos that I'm reading for. It's about two people, uh, partnerships. In the upright position is about being on the same page, seeing eye to eye. There's magnetic chemistry uh, in terms of relationships. But because this is a general reading and I'm covering all er areas, not just focusing on relationships, but I will talk about relationships because the lovers is um, very central to um, two people coming together harmoniously, I might add. Also, I'm getting a message as I'm speaking that there is some healing taking place with some Leos from uh, possibly a disconnect from a relationship. Now, you may not have separated or severed ties or the individual severed ties with you but i just i'm just getting a message about healing uh this upcoming week for some leos uh actually heal, healing and repair so some of you may be repairing uh, relationships if there was any um differences or problems or situations in relationships just from past energy moving forward this is the energy of two people coming together so for the excuse me for the single leos uh there's a potential of you possibly meeting someone new this upcoming week but it's all about um two people coming together harmoniously uh you know there's magnetic attraction you're seeing eye to eye with one another and you're on the same page so this week is about partnerships this also shows up uh, in relationship to business aspects, uh, partners in business, friendships, but it is the lover, so I'm emphasizing intimate and romantic more than anything. Okay, so yesterday going back to uh, two weeks, now we have the seven of swords in the reverse. So this card here is indicative of a loss, conflict, and strife. It's in your passing uh, position, Leo, so that means that some of you have endured, and it sits next to the lovers, so maybe some of you have endured some sort of conflict or strife in terms of a relationship, uh, romantic or intimate. Uh, it could have been with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, male or female, uh, but it's in the uh, reverse, so it's an overcoming that conflict and that strife. Something was taken from you, Leo, uh, two weeks ago. But I feel that it shows up here in this uh, reading for you for this week. So whatever was taken from you from the past, uh, there's a potential of it being returned to you. So if it's a relationship, that's a possibility. Um, if it was, you know, anything that someone picked up from you could have been someone not necessarily borrowing this is a this is actually a theft a loss someone stealing something from you uh, but this may be uh, the week that whatever was taken from you whether it was material or emotional physical whatever it will be uh, potentially returned to you this week overcoming conflict and strife related to a relationship it could have been a friendship as well too in the middle of the week. So actually this is a pretty good week for you because now we have the ten of um ten of wands in reverse. So I like to see the ten of wands in reverse, and of course tens represent a clearing of energies. So it's overcoming those battles and struggles and um possible internal obstacles. 
sorting your uh, emotional or physical mind out or your physical state or well-being. I also get that in connecting with the lovers from the past that Leos have suffered some sort of issues having to do a lot of bi uh, battling and struggling. Uh, could have been with another fire sign, but again, air sign is showing up, but it doesn't really matter. Air, fire, water. I just see some something going on in terms of relationships from the past that Leos had to deal with that brought on some strife and conflict and uh, possible physical fightings with this Ten of Wands showing up. But it's in the reverse, so it's overcoming that energy and uh, it's a clearing. Also, this shows up, this Ten of Wands shows up uh, related again. So, you know, fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So it could have been included in having conflicts or battles in a relationship. This could also extend to, um, okay, I'm hearing that it could extend into the family structure. So Leo may have, you know, children that are fire signs and there were some battles and struggles going on with them. This also includes friendships extended to possible having to do uh, battles with um you know your co-workers the word written on this card is responsibility so i feel that maybe attached to all of this conflict uh in your past and position and because we have the lovers card that uh leos may have been feeling a lot of you know taking on a lot of responsibility or maybe feeling you know overwhelmed because this card is about oppression uh when it's in the upright so that means just like all these things coming at you and then it's making you oppressed. So maybe there is uh, a situation that you've dealt with from the past and this week is overcoming. It's like a calming, calming energy. And like I said before, it's a clearing of old energy and new energy is coming towards you in a good way. Overcoming battles, strife related to uh, relationships, possible business partners. Uh, friendships, something going on in the family structure, okay? Now, at the tail end of the week, Leo, we have the three of wands. So this is all about, and it's in the upright position. So it's all about, number one, there could be, now the Leo that I'm speaking for, maybe one or two, because the lovers is your uh, overall energy for this week. Now, there could be a Leo or two that enters into a love triangulation or strangulation, as I refer to it. Uh, this upcoming week. This is a card of positive movement forward. It also represents, so it's a lot of motivation. So by the end of the week, I feel that some Leos are going to be highly motivated. Now, it may be within a re, you know relationship or it could be something uh, related to your work or career or something going on in the family. Now, I am getting the message because the, le uh, the lovers do show up and this is the three of wands and I always see a strangulation when uh, any three show up. There could be a Leo or two walking away from a relationship or it could be the emphasis is on the fire sign walking away from someone that's um, already attached. Or it could be um, the energy of someone walking away from a Leo. OK, so this is what I'm getting. Uh, still positive movement forward, uh, something progressing. So whatever, <coughs> excuse me, whatever. Um, goals or plans the for the leos that i'm speaking for or speaking to that had set some goals or plans in the past this card shows up to say it's um positive energy for you to move forward with that whatever it is that you set goals for for yourself and trying to achieve it's the card of motivation okay uh in the reverse it would be the lack of motivation so it's uh motivation physical movement and specifically about a relationship either leo or two walks away from someone in a strangulation or someone walks away from a leo but it's still good energy for the other leos that i speak to in terms of connecting um with possibly someone new if you're single and relationships in general and partnerships this week should come about to be 
harmonious, okay? Now, I always stick to what I say, and I do feel that by the end of the week, someone walks away from someone. Either it's you walking away, Leo, again, or someone walks away from you, okay? But going into the weekend is positive motivation, energy. It's a very physical card, okay? <clears throat> All right, so that's your reading, uh, Leo. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Until the next time, I wish you all love and light and have a very safe week, Leo. Take care. Bye.